Well, welcome back, Bison Nation. Our game day preview, homecoming game, Northern Iowa. The Panthers are at 3-2. and two. Great to be with you, Jeff Colhane and Jeremy Jorgensen. And, Jeremy, this Northern Iowa team, they always bring a lot of energy into the Fargo Dome, a squad that always plays the Bison very, very tough, and certainly a very physical group along the lines of scrimmage, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, on the defensive side, I think they're good at all levels. Uh, their backside is good. I think their linebackers are good. Uh, they're always good on the D-line. Bryce Pop does a great job with that group, and I think this is uh, turning into one of their better ones in a while. Yeah, they have not allowed really much of anything with their rush defense, shutting down Youngstown State and Weber State each of their last two games and really holding those two rushing offenses who have been elite to uh, well under 100 yards in those contests. Some names to remember, Ellerson G. Smith, he leads the Valley in sacks, and Seth Thomas along the outside. Here's Ben Ellison and Trey Lance talking about the physicality and the challenge with Northern Iowa defensively. Kind of turned into one of those rivalry games, you know, with a lot of physicality. And so um, as long as we continue to do um, what we do and play Bison, you know, Bison physical football, um, I think we'll be okay. I mean, I think just from film, we can see that they're a little different than Illinois State. Uh, maybe not, you know, jumping out of gaps as much, but maybe just trying to come through you and play through you. Uh, it'll be fun. You know, I think that's the kind of game that we want to be in. So uh, their defense is really talented. Uh, we're going to have to make plays, but our defense is, is, is tough. So allowing three points isn't too bad. It makes me feel pretty good about our team. On the flip side, Northern Iowa offensively, they have a really good wide receiving core, good up front Jeremy, and a dual threat quarterback and redshirt freshman Will McIlvain that has really burst onto the scene in his first five games of his career. You know, I think they miss Briley more, the injured tight end, but you're right, they have some good pieces, and any time you have a dual threat quarterback, that's when they've been really good. They've had some good dual threat quarterbacks in the past, and I think Will McIlvain is another one. Yeah, he is uh, doing a great job and distributing the football well. Eight touchdowns to two interceptions, and their wide receiving core, Isaiah Weston, Jalen James, and the slot receiver, and Deion McShay, and they have given people problems in the passing game here this season. Here's Bison linebacker Aaron Mercadel describing the toughness and the challenge with this Panther offense. I think that they're a true RPO team, so um, it'll slow our defense down a little bit, just being patient in things like the run fit and pass fits and just making sure everything's covered up. Um, they have, they're really good up front, um, better lines that we'll see this year, so that'll be a big thing. Just our, for, our front forward doing the things they've been doing the last five games, that'll be big and important. Um, and as long as the back seven are locked in and keyed into everything, I think if everybody does their job, we'll be fine. So it's a rivalry type feel. We always know when the Bison and the Panthers get together, there's a little more juice in this game. Walk me through what you feel like is important for NDSU in the homecoming game on Saturday. Well, I think this Bison offense, it'll be hard to score on, the, on that UNI defense, but I think the key is for the Bison defense to lock up the dual threat uh, quarterback. Uh, if you make it really hard for UNI to score, the Bison should be able to score enough in that situation. Yeah, that's going to be a fun matchup to follow. There's no question about that. The homecoming game, a 1 p.m. Central time kick inside the Fargo Dome. Should be a blast. Bison and Panthers, this has been our game day preview of Northern Iowa.